And let me tell you, if the globalists have developed a system to protect their fertility from radiation, they are advanced indeed. They are powerful. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to Ryan in Connecticut. Ryan, you're on the air. Jackie, Rourke, Matt, we'll get to everybody. We appreciate you. We love you. We love the fact that you care about reality and have some wish to save the human realm from total destruction. Ryan, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, how are you? Uh, big time fan. Uh, you are a true patriot. It's an honor to talk to you. Well, it's an honor I to talk would, to you. Uh, What's on your mind? Um, I got two things on my one. Uh, first of all, um, we've had something down here outside of New York City. Um, I live in southern Connecticut, and it's called the See Something, Say Something. And it's about the subways going in and out, and it's basically saying everybody look after everybody else now. What you have is cops looking at citizens, citizens looking at cops, the cops looking at people that work for the train. It's almost like a paranoid environment. And then once they've got that in place, it started in New York, it's gone nationwide in the last year, then they flip it. Okay, we're looking for Muslims, though we don't say that, but that's who we're really looking for. We're all on the same team. Hey, you know, everything's fine. Let's harass this black person. And then now they flip it. Oh, my gosh, the white terrorists are everywhere. And, and, and who are they in the secret training manuals? Returning veterans? Oh, I forgot, retired police? That, a tyranny always goes after its veterans and its retired police. R Ryan, I don't want to make you hold for 30 minutes, but if you want to, I'll come back to you when Jim Mars leaves. And I promise, it's open phones in the second hour, and I'm going to get into the whole debt limit debacle. The Democrats are lying. The Republicans are lying. Uh, and Ron Paul and the Communist Chinese are telling the truth. <laughs> They've already defaulted. All right, well, we're, I'll explain, but just stay with us. A couple days ago, I saw a great article by the Alexander Higgins blog. I don't know if we posted it on Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com, but it's Pentagon deploying 20,000 troops within the United States to prepare for civil unrest in the event of economic collapse. And he's got several newscasts about it. He's got NASA warning their employees to prepare for it. And uh, without even asking Paul Watson and Kurt Nemo and, and the other guys that post on Infowars.com, I, I know why the, uh, I didn't see this. And because I'll call the guys or I'll, go, I'll, I'll march into their office and I'll say, hey, why aren't you covering this? And they'll say, but we've covered it a hundred times. And I go, it doesn't matter. What is old is new to people. And this story has gotten a lot of attention and folks have been freaking out over it, uh, that the mainstream media is admitting, yes, we want to put troops on the streets for the collapse. You see, I was the kook. I was the weirdo. I was the nut. Now it's like, oh, yeah, everybody knows they're getting ready to put troops on the streets and training local police to run checkpoints and clergy response teams, you know, trying to spy on their flocks. Oh, yeah, everybody knows they got telescreens going up the town square and Walmart and, and the malls and saying, spy on your neighbor. Oh, everybody knows the TSA is going to be at the high schools now. Oh, it's no big deal. Yeah, that Alex is still a kook, though. See, they know that we muddle through things. The social engineers do. They know that we become accustomed. And when you understand that, just as that banker on the plane, that'll be good for uh, for uh, bloopers online. Uh, cover me with Jim Mars when I sneezed. If I seem out of it today, I woke up with a sinus headache this morning from Hades. Uh, and, uh, I, I, and then every time I sneeze, it, it relieves the headache for about five minutes. So right now I'm in heaven. And then I slowly feel the sinus pressure coming back. And I was fighting, not sneezing there. <laughs> but, uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so yes, I, I almost called in sick. I had the phone in my hand. I was going to call Jaron and say, get a rebroadcast ready. And I said, no. So... You're going to get uh, even more of the real Alex Jones today. Because my uh, sinus headache, uh, I think, is pressing on my brain and causing me to act loopy. Okay, uh, Pentagon deploying 20,000 troops within the United States to prepare for civil unrest in the event of economic collapse. Well, that's what they told Europe would happen. Give the bankers the trillions they want or we'll implode you. Give them the trillions. Okay, that didn't fix it. Give us trillions more. 
Okay, give us trillions more. No, we're not going to. Ah, tanks in the streets, blood in the streets. If you don't do it, okay, here's the trillions. Oh, it's going to get worse. The contagion's spreading. The countries are falling to the bankers. Now give the bankers more money and we'll fix it. And it's the same thing. But So now it's just a mainlining. You know, I'd tell you 10 years ago, hey, Rand Corporation says they're going to militarize police and train us to have checkpoints inside the U.S. and internal passports, and that they're even going to train us to put their hands on our body ahead of forced inoculations and DNA samples to get driver's license. Here it is, Rand Corporation, and what they come up with gets put into policy. Oh, that nut Alex keeps saying we're going to have troops on the streets of America. And they just slowly acclimate you until now. Well, of course there's troops. I mean, the white Al-Qaeda is going to get us. So we're going to be getting into that uh, news clip from that and uh, going over some of the uh, articles uh, that cover it. Because I know for our longtime listeners, this is ancient news for you. I mean, I didn't even need to read a Rand Corporation document. 12, 13, 14 years ago, I went to a lot of urban warfare drills and witnessed the military training to take your guns and put you in camps and shot video of it. And people couldn't believe it then. So they said, Police State 2000 is actors. Yes, the, uh, the ships, uh, uh, I hired them, the Coronado. I hired the thousands of troops and foreign troops to come into Oakland and do mock takeover of the city. Yes, it's all fake. No, it was real. But people couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it that I had the video of the Marines admitting it. And so they just said it was fake. You see, it's, it's, it's just incredible. Okay, uh, I want to go to Jim Mars with us a little bit in the next hour. Then I promise I'm going right to your calls and the whole situation with... Um, the whole situation with Obama last night up there terrorizing the public. And see, his approval rating plunged. And his and, and his approval rating with his with his supporters plunged because they thought their cars would fill themselves up with gas once he was in office, that houses were going to be free. I mean, remember, and Obama played along with that. Now he's coming and saying, hey, you do what we say or there's going to be a depression. People say, well, that hurt the economy. I'm doing that. He's terrorizing folks. That's his job is to destroy the economy so the bankers can buy it up. And they're going to do it after they get a couple more bailouts and a couple more debt ceilings. But they're not done. You know, we're like a beautiful woman who's been whored out for five years and now is, you know, really run down with cigarette burns. But there, you could, she's not a $1,000 a night hooker. She's now a $5, $5, uh, you know, in the park hooker. But they're not done. Now, they're, later they're going to walk us down to the waterfront and shoot us in the back of the head. Okay, I mean, they, they, they got some more pimping to do. But see, Obama's now being hated. Obama is now being decried, but that's his job is to be hated now and to take the blame. See, and then they're going to put another shill up there for you to hate for four years. And then they'll betray you, but it'll be okay because they'll get us all fighting with each other. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?